Are you guys looking for cheap badges for your my player? Hit up Legend Services on Twitter. Link in the description. So we've got another 2K controversy on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys haven't heard the game, who's actually a famous rapper, just hit Elite 3, and he's the first person in the world to do it on Xbox or PS4. But the major problem with this is his account was banned roughly a week and a half ago. So somehow he was able to get and surpass all the other guys grinding with an account that was banned. So something's not adding up. Now, let's, if you don't believe me, listen to this guy. Niggas out here in Daddy Park fucking boosting, my nigga, for top rep. Fucking playing bots and shit. Look at this nigga boosting. I ain't playing D on. Now, I'm going to expose 2K in a second, but please, please, please stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to back everything I have to say up with evidence. So, these are top rep players. This is what the leaderboards look like now. Somehow the game passed up all these other guys grinding, which leads me to a conversation that McGurk had with then developer Zach Terman back in 2K19. Now, if you don't know, me and McGurk were both sharing an account, grinding for top rep, and Zach basically told us that 2K keeps track of how many IPs you have. He confirmed it to us right here. He knew how many people were playing on our account, which was me, him, and one other guy that would hop on occasionally. In this DM, McGurk was crying about not getting invited to career day or whatever the hell. And he basically said he gave his thoughts on people that have grinders on their account. And he said he didn't know if it was if it was bannable or not. This is somebody at 2K saying he did not know whether it was bannable to have grinders. So here's an old video that I posted about three years ago, back in 2K19, two years ago right after my account got banned now keep in mind during this time me and McGurk were top three top five in the world we we're trying to get pass up J Fox and we had to keep dealing with constant BS from 2k games not counting getting no rep and just things that otherwise would just make people quit and just say screw it I'm done grinding but through all this we didn't give up so even after getting banned, I went to go hit up 2K support. They said it was a permanent ban, which made no sense to me because we didn't do anything illegal per the terms of service. And they basically told me that I had too much VC. They didn't give a reason why. They didn't give a reason. You know, they just said you had too much VC. That's why you got banned. So it just shocked me that this level of incompetence could be coming from a, a company that makes this much money off the game so this is a clip of me playing career and not getting any rep whatsoever and this would happen for days at a time the only thing i would get was vc so i found it laughable that 2k would ban me for having too much vc when that's all they were giving me i was getting you know 2000 vc per game so I was easily at you know 2 million 3 million VC just from grinding my career back in 2k19 just because that was all the game was was grind my career for top rep so we were trying to pass up J Fox and we could not do it because literally 2k would not let us do it so there are a lot of conspiracies as to why that was but me personally I believe it's because we had we were sharing an account we had multiple IPs and eventually after going back and forth with this guy for, you know, 30 minutes, he said my account was unbanned, even though they previously said it was not up for appeal and it was permanently banned. So I brought up the, I brought up the attorneys, which honestly, which is a big bluff on my part, but they unbanned it. So as this relates to now, not only does the game have multiple people playing, that's confirmed. There's multiple IPs. That's confirmed. He was banned on Xbox probably because someone was using his account and either sent out some crazy messages or did something illegal like trying to buy and sell accounts. That's why his account got banned. Now, keep in mind, his account was banned off Xbox entirely. It wasn't a 2K ban. There was nothing 2K could do. But not only does this happen, 2K transferred his rep to a new account. Think about that. They fully transferred his rep. So not only does the 2K lie about saying they can't transfer rep to players, 
but they give they show clear favoritism to celebrities it's it's clear and obvious that this isn't legit that the game is basically stealing from hard-working grinders that you know are trying to make a name for themselves that don't have the platform that he has i'm not blaming the game i'm blaming 2k for this why like it's his own fault that he got his account banned it's not hackers he was giving his account info out that's why he was top rep because he had people grinding and sharing his account i knew how it how it was that's why i had you know two-step i'm sure he has all the two-step security and all that on his account that's not why he got banned he got banned for doing things that he shouldn't have been doing and 2k just said screw it we're just gonna give your rep back not to mention somehow he got banned and still caught up to all the top reps how is that possible unless you got a massive rep boost from 2k so there's obviously something shady going on let me know what you guys think in the comment section i'm not going to be able to 100 percent prove anything that's going on but i think i know what 2k is doing so like comment subscribe hit the notification bell if you're new and i'm out y'all peace